Good evening campers, it's me Kira and today we are going to talk about the first ever manga that I've read and that is Gyo by Junji Ito. I already said this, people ask me, but what about Berserk? Berserk is coming, I'm halfway through the deluxe edition. It's coming. I just wanted to like figure out how to review a manga. And I have thoughts and some difficulties I need to work out when it comes to reviewing manga and or graphic novels. Some people don't know that I read quite a lot of graphic novels, but trying to articulate through words a medium that is predominantly image, I find is very difficult to navigate around. If I could do manga, surely that opens me up to graphic novels. Semantically, aren't they both the same thing, apart from a difference in artwork and culture? Let me know. But enough about that, let's talk about Junji Ito, who is famed within the manga world for his grotesque, morbid and horrific work. Gear was sent me by one of my supporters and if you want to support me my coffee link is down below. Thank you very much Emma for this. Gyo is what you would expect if David Cronenberg and Ridley Scott got together to produce Sharknado. A main character Tadashi and his girlfriend have a blistering relationship with many apps but like pre predominantly downs like all the way through that they they're not, they're not couple 101 material. We would not ship this, but to keep to the water metaphor, something comes out from the sea. Something quick, something that we don't really know exactly what it is. Something that attacks, something that is loud, and something unbeknownst to anything that we are to expect. That is, dear audience, a fish with legs. I'm no fishmonger, but if I said, imagine a John Dory, I think you could picture the size. I think it's about there, and I don't know my fish, so maybe a John Dory's bigger. Think of it like a piece of cod that you get from the chip shop. It's like yay big, you know, like like a big battered fish. I know nothing about fish. But I'm not the only one because Japan is not going to know fish at all after an absolute armada of walking fish storm Japan. And by fish, I mean all kinds. The small ones, the medium ones, there is a shark that comes up, which is like, that's like a really good scene. And this is where the power of the manga and the graphic novel, that medium is absolutely superb. In regards to page turning quickness, this medium allows that. And Junji Ito knows how to implement it perfectly. He knows timing, he knows Pace. Despite the quickness that we are going through, the turgid and slow movement of a whale coming up with the legs, obviously, onto the beach starts to cause concern. Now, Tadashi's uncle is working on a scientific project. The uncle is going to become instrumental, so reader, you're gonna have to read and find out. However, to understand his fruition, he is the person who understands that these legs are not biological. They're not born from the fish. Instead, there is a symbiotic, if not a parasitic, relationship between the fish and the legs. And the legs are mechanisms. How come parasitic? Well, these machines work on gas, and it is the miasma from the dying biological matter that causes movement. How these mechanisms came about was that Tadashi's father was working on a technology, yet they were sunk during World War too. And I don't think that Junji Ito uses this as some form of like vague subplot. There is definitely something about death and its relationship with life and how without this binary neither can function. Later on within Gear, we are going to see how the mechanisms actually start to work in a survival of the fittest narrative where just by mere upgrades, just by human interaction, tweaking and modification that they become greater than what they could have been at the bottom of the trench. This life-death narrative really permeates and is pungent throughout the entirety of 
Gio. And Ito, because of this like extended metaphor that he's using, really showcases that life and death doesn't have to be literal, that it can be symbolic. We can definitely see this within Tadashi and his relationship. What should naturally decay ends up becoming strengthened and rejuvenated despite the mass and swelling that is to occur. What should reject ultimately attracts and their relationship becomes stronger once it has inevitably died. This was a really efficient and wonderful work and I can see why Ito has the reputation that he has and in no way shape or form will I be stopping and if you have any Ito recommendations I would be keen to hear I'm toying between Uzumaki and Tomi I think Tomi was his debut so I would be keen to read that but for this I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 thank you ever so much again Emma for sending me this way and if you want to support this channel coffee links down below